brain aneurysm can be like having a ticking time bomb inside your head. The danger is that it may unexpectedly burst, causing cataclysmic injury or death. If you look at the data, you know, across the board, uh, anywhere from 25 to up to 40 percent of patients will not survive an aneurysm rupture. Many of those patients may not even make it to the hospital. Of those who do make it, 50% will have permanent long-term neurological damage. It reinforces the importance of repairing an aneurysm so it doesn't rupture again. The newest way to do it is a procedure called coiling. The newer uh, innovation involves uh, putting coils into the aneurysm and that's uh, performed uh, typically uh, through a series of catheters that are accessed through the groin artery and then navigated into the aneurysm sac where the coils are then deployed and that allows the aneurysm to sort of clot off from the inside. The coil is made of platinum. It looks like a tiny spring you might find inside a pen. You can see it's very, very, very soft and pliable and uh, it kind of has a pre-configured shape to it, so as you deploy it, it kind of takes on these bends and turns. Platelets stick to the metal and essentially fill the space, stopping blood flow to the aneurysm. 60 to 70 percent of aneurysms are now treated this way. Which is a dramatic reversal of the trend that we saw maybe 10 years ago where most aneurysms were clipped. The coiling technique is faster and less invasive than entering the skull surgically, which may improve long-term outcomes. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.